In this video, we'll be taking a look at playing different kinds of slot machines and when it's best to bet maximum coins. Now, before we begin, I need to confess to you that I rarely play slot machines myself because I always prefer to play video poker. There's a big difference between those two games, and I suggest that you watch some of my other videos if you want to learn why it's a much better game to play. But for now, we'll be focusing on slot machines, and we're going to be looking at four different types of machines. Multipliers, biopays, progressives, and multi-line, multi-coin. Now, when we look at playing these machines, we need to decide if we will get some benefit for betting maximum coins. If so, then yes, we should do it. And if not, then we shouldn't. Sound simple enough? Okay, let's get started. The first game we're going to look at is called a multiplier, but there are two different types that we need to compare. We'll start with a straight multiplier, and with this game, whenever you bet an extra coin, your payoff is raised proportionally. As an example, on a two-coin machine, let's say that for your first coin bet, the jackpot pays 800 coins. And then your second coin would double the jackpot to 1,600 coins. So, on this kind of machine, even though you're risking more money when you bet two coins, you really aren't getting any benefit for it. Therefore, it would be best to never bet maximum coins on a straight multiplier. The other type of machine in this category is called a modified multiplier. And with this machine, there is some increase in the payoff, but only for the top jackpot. As an example, on a two-coin machine, let's say that for your first coin bet, the jackpot pays 1,000 coins, and for your second coin, rather than doubling it to 2,000 coins, it's raised to 2,500 coins. So in essence, the machine is paying you a bonus of 500 coins for making the maximum bet. As another example, let's say you're on a three-coin machine, and for your first coin bet, the jackpot pays 4,000 coins, and for your second coin, it's doubled to 8,000 coins. But on the third coin, rather than tripling it to 12,000 coins, it's raised to 15,000. Therefore, the machine is paying you a bonus of 3,000 coins for making the maximum bet. So, is it a good idea to play maximum coins and modified multipliers? Well, it's debatable. For me, I would say no, because even though the machine is paying you extra coins for making a maximum bet, it will only pay you that bonus if you hit the top jackpot and the chances of that happening are very slim. However, if you're the type of person who would get upset if you hit the top jackpot with only one coin bet rather than getting the extra payoff for betting maximum coins, then go for it. But keep in mind that the extra payoff is minimal when calculating the overall payback percentage on that machine. Next are buy -a pay machines, and probably the most well-known of these are the Blazing Sevens machines from Bally's. With these machines, your first coin activates some winning symbols, such as the bars. Then, with your second coin, you activate another set of winning symbols, such as the sevens and blazing sevens. Then, with your next coin, it may activate another set of winning symbols, or it may just act as a multiplier. So, is it a good idea to bet maximum coins on these machines? Well, the answer here is yes and no, and it depends on the pay table. Yes, you always want to bet enough coins to activate a new set of winning symbols, because that will increase the overall payback percentage. However, you need to look carefully at the pay tables, because sometimes when you bet an extra coin, it will only work to double the payoffs on some winning combinations. So in this case, the answer would be no. You would not want to bet any extra coins. You would only want to bet enough to activate the extra winning symbols. Next come progressives. And these machines have a jackpot that is not a set amount. Instead, there is a meter on the machine that shows a jackpot that is constantly growing. On progressives, you always want to bet maximum coins in order to be eligible for the jackpot. If not, you're just building up the jackpot for someone else to win. And while we're talking about progressives, I want to give you some tips for playing two particular types of progressive slots. The first is a standalone slot, and this refers to a situation where you have several of the same slot machine within a casino, and each machine has its own progressive jackpot. So if you look at three of the exact same progressive machines, one may have a jackpot of $1,877, another at $1,965, and a third at $2,263. Now, does it matter which machine you play? The answer is yes, it does. You want to play the machine with the highest jackpot because the odds of hitting that jackpot are probably the same on all three machines. 
So with standalone progressives, always play the machine with the highest jackpot and always play maximum coins. The other type of slot machine I wanted to mention is known as a wide area progressive. And this is where a large group of progressive slot machines at numerous casinos are linked together. An example of this is Nevada's Megabucks, where the jackpot starts at $10 million and builds until someone hits it. These $1 machines are located at more than 125 casinos throughout the state, and they are linked together by a computer. Of course, you'll always want to play maximum coin on these machines, but you may also want to only devote a small percentage of your bankroll to playing them because the paybacks are much lower. In Nevada, the average $1 slot returns around 95%, while the average $1 megabucks machine returns around 88%. The final machines I want to discuss are multi-line, multi-coin slots, which are mostly the low-denomination machines, such as pennies and nickels. With these machines, you can choose how many lines you want to play, sometimes as many as 90 or more, and you can also choose how many coins you want to bet on each line. Additionally, many of these machines will offer a bonus round where you can pick up free spins or extra payouts. Keep in mind that it's these bonus rounds that help to boost the payback percentages on these machines. So the answer here is to make sure that you're betting enough to be eligible for these bonuses. Most of the time, you don't have to play maximum coins to qualify for a bonus round, and all you need to do is just bet one coin on each pay line. Other times, however, a machine may require you to play one coin on each line, plus make an added bonus bet to qualify. The only way to know for sure is to look at a machine's pay table to see what kind of bet is needed to activate the bonuses. Another possible option, though, is to ask another player who is familiar with the machine if they know what's required. Remember, if you don't bet enough to qualify for the bonus round, you won't be eligible for the extra payoffs. Okay, there you have it. A rundown on the various types of slot machines you'll find in a casino, plus some solid advice on when to bet maximum coins. As I've said before, slots really aren't the best game to play in a casino, but they are by far the most popular, and hopefully... This information will help to make your bankroll last longer so you can have more fun when you play. Thanks for watching, and best wishes for good luck on your next visit to the casino.